right? So the news from the center is that UAE have won the toss twice in a row and they have decided to bowl first. Right then, there you have it, Mohammed Wasim and the UAE once again winning the toss and electing to bowl first to join me in the combat box and to break down the two teams. I have the one and only Rashid Mohammed. Good evening, Rashid. Good evening, Ahmed, and good evening, viewers. It's going to be another exciting day here in UAE. So it'll be important to see how he goes about business, Josh Munzi. 64 matches, a lot of experience under his belt. Level the series for Scotland. Oh, absolutely. Just some of that ring rust they would have had. We saw Oli Hares struggled, got an absolute brute that he will be looking to go after the UAE bowlers in the power play. And what to say about this man? Absolutely outstanding. Oh yeah, he was fabulous in that first uh... mid-off and mid-on up in the circle as you would expect. There is a mid eight Siddiqui bowling to George Munsey. And nicely worked away by George to get off the mark very efficiently. No worries at all. That was a good delivery from Can he give the breakthrough they're looking for. Oh, he's bowled him. What a start. That is an absolutely wonderful start. So his wretched form in this tour continues. It's another golden duck for all he hears. But what an absolute... What a delivery from Junaid Siddiqui and UAE. Well, off to a perfect start once again. One for one. And boy, is he performing. Brendan McMillan. Well, it's going to be Hazrat Lukman to share the new ball. Oh, that's a good delivery. Surprised Munzi on that occasion. I think just did it a little bit too much. Oh, he's picked that up really nicely. Wasn't all that short. Wasn't a bad delivery, but that's a super shot from Munzi. That's the kind of form he is in. Gets the first boundary for himself. And last time was probably last summer. Comes down the track. It's in the air and straight to the fielder. Basil Hamid doesn't make a mistake. The second wicket goes down. And another failure for McMillan. One of five. The kind of start UAE wanted. Let's have a look at that wicket once again. Like you mentioned, wasn't there to be going for the drive. Big responsibility on his shoulders. Yeah, has a pretty decent ODI career. Made a performance from Junaid Siddiqui. And the Charlie Terry is off the mark. Guides that towards deep third. He'll pick up a single and keep those chances that would, they would have liked. Was played really well. That's a boundary. That's a fabulous shot. National recall as well. Oh, inside edge. That's taken the bottom half of the bat and that's run down towards the fine leg boundary. Coming in from pavilion end, also no, the Sports City end. Yeah, interesting move here from Wasim. I perhaps. Okay, to tear outside edge. That's running away towards the boundary. Nobody at deep third. Clint will definitely be on the back foot. That's a good shot. That's a very good shot. I don't think there's anybody stopping that. That's crest through the point region. That's up in the air. Chance and straight into the hands of Wasim. Not quite to the pitch of the ball. No worries with that pop increase. And Akifula Raja. Tempting Charlie Tier. Go for the drive. I'm up for the challenge. And houses. And a promising innings from young Charlie Tier. Comes to an end. 16 of 11. Short ball on the pad. That's a poor delivery. And uh, every run counts from here on. Oh, that's in the slot end. Mansi has gone big. He's gone the distance as well. So six more. Oh, that's a better delivery. They're appealing for it. Oh, and it's given. He took some time and completely in a different way. Bit wayward, bit expensive, but he has got that big wicket of George Munsi. 26 of 15 balls. Right, so it's going to be Jack Jarvis playing. And was him in control, in command. His UAE team, Ayan Khan, 26 Shabai, matches, 21 wickets to his name. And just a bit of turn oh, and there's an edge and no slip again a little defensive in his approach was seen no slip in place for Ayan Khan and that ball has trickled away towards the deep third Raja Akifullah comes into bowl this one's been played in the air and will be four runs that's excellent timing and placement from Jarvis new exit they have to chase anything about 150 that's a very good timed shot in the gap. Rahul Chopra is not going to get there. 
because four wickets down and it's an ideal situation I think for someone like Zoeb to come and bowl a couple of overs. Yes, it is important that they get the right bowlers. But the bowlers of UAE, so the final ball of the 10th over. Oh, thick outside edge, no slip in position, easy runs Shoaib. Yeah, runs and important runs. Four dots. In the air for a bit, slightly away from Ayan of 12. This time tossed up. And yet quick. A couple of runs will be added. Basil Amit playing his 50th cross batted shots. 16 balls since the last boundary. Aerial and gone. Wanting to play that aerial shot and overcommits himself to give that wicket to Basil Amit. Oh, that's a big wicket. This was uh, looking like a partnership that was flourishing for Scotland. But Basil Hamid, a second attempt, but they wouldn't mind those. Jack Jarvis was livid with himself for playing that shot. 20 of 28 deliveries. Michael Leesk. Michael Leesk. Start of a fresh over. Wasim doing a fabulous job at the boundary. A couple of runs. Game making it a decider. Always good to win two on the back. Tossed oh, up. A, what a shot that one. Tossed up delivery, not a okay, Back okay. of the length. Shout off catch it and will be taken. Clear that fielder at mid wicket. These are long boundaries here. Doesn't get the, get the connection he was probably looking for. And it's gone down the throat of uh, Rahul Chopra at mid wicket. That was a good catch. That ball was travelling. And look at that. Least trying to get it in the gap. A couple of meters here or there could have been. And they have managed to pick up the sixth wicket. Five of five for Michael Leesk. Dickinson, the new man in. Basil Hamid. Towards the, the front foot will really found it. Tidy over from. Zoheb to conclude his of dot balls in a 20 over game you're really going to be up against it it's taken a long while to raise the 100 that too in the 17th over well, they'll take two on that occasion extras whatsoever so very disciplined bowling from UAE nicely played again so this is, oh this is gone all the way what a shot that is from Dickinson A slower, shorter delivery. Could this be wicket number three for him? No. A one-handed effort from Hazrat Lukman was... In the absence of Zahoor Khan, he's really taken up leadership. Meanwhile, it's a top edge over the keeper on the attempted ramp. A streaky shot from Dickinson. Could have gone absolutely anywhere. Didn't know much about it. He's bowled two overs, given away 23, but I think... Oh, that's an edge and will be taken. The bouncer pays off. Genuine feather edge to the keeper. No worries with the front foot. And Junaid Siddiqui just keeps taking wickets for fun. Slower ball, top edge, easy. 3 for 14. Still has one more over to go, but a plucky innings from Dickinson comes to an end. Let's see what he can produce. Back of a length push towards Widish. Mid wicket, they're looking for two. They're running on the throw, and oh, just made it in time. T20 over format for a finger spinner. Heaved towards square leg. Long chase for the fielder out there, Ali Shan. And it will be an easy two. Of those deliveries. Now using his feet, cross coming down the track, trying to go big. But checks his shot at the last moment. And a very, very tricky. Oh, and he gets a wicket. Extraordinary and a magnificent spell of fast bowling from Jeanette Siddiqui. Well, 4 for 14 in the first game and now 4 for 18 in the second. He has been the difference between the two sides in this series. Full straight and Scotland conclude on 121 for 8 in the allotted 20 overs. Clinical in the first innings. A wicket in the very first over. I'm sure it's going to be a happy cap. 22 runs should be very manageable indeed. George Munsey got them off to a decent start but once again 
the top order for the Scots failing to deliver. Well, a very clinical bowling performance from UAE. The bowlers have contributed yet again. They would be expecting him to do well. 12 wickets in just seven games. So he's uh, somebody to look out for. They have the tendency to pick wickets. And uh, all right, so it's game on. Ball number one, Curry to Wasim. Very, very smart. Kevin Main, 14 matches, 16 wickets for him. Playing it away from the body. Goes for the big pull. Had to clear the infield to get some runs, and that's what he'll get a couple of runs for himself. Slower full toss. And gone. Had to come. Perhaps when he got a full toss, but a slower one. Committing that error straight into the hands of the fielder and gone. Well, that's the breakthrough they were looking for. It's a sharp catch there at covers. Because they need wickets to put pressure on UAE. Tani Suri gone after scoring two of six. Meanwhile, at number three, Arjun Lakra for UAE. Nine instincts. Again an edge. <laughs> but this time, <laughs> this one is going to race away towards the fence for a four. We batters. Yeah! Big, big shout there. And the umpire will raise his dreaded finger. We're looking for, he'd been very lucky in this over. But not on that occasion, that was a good delivery. Let's have a look, yep. Pretty good with the front foot. Brad Curry. He was testing Mohamed Wasim. That was a brilliant delivery. Right on the money, yeah. Nothing. Big wicket this one. Was seen gone after scoring 7 of 10. 11 on the board for UAE. Two wickets down. A through. We'll have to wait and watch. Edged. And the ball is racing towards the fence. Jack Jarvis. Given the challenge. Bowls and shot. And runs on board. Four runs for our cricket. Catch it is the shout and will be taken. The very next delivery holds out. Got one shot too many from Mario Lakra. Nothing wrong with the front foot there. And I think just trying to force a shot there. This wasn't a delivery that could have been pulled. Especially when you're just playing your third delivery. It was cramped up for room on that. Rahul Chopra, the new man in. For Matthew Cross. Two reasons for that. One, again a chance of a run out. What are they doing? a good platform for Rahul Chopra and the likes of Ali Shan. They can get some runs. Yeah! This is what happens. Who's been called as Mr. Dependent when it comes to run chases. Well, he has faltered and Jarvis, he'll definitely enjoy that wicket. No problems with that front foot. A good length delivery King toll on Rahul Chopra. 2 of 11. And from the blade of Basil Hamid. Yes, uh, for UAE's sake, he would want to take that Momentum. Few of UAE. Well, the senior batters, especially in the middle order, nicely played on the back foot. Punch hard, running hard for that second run. Big ground, big gaps available. National, the second game between these two sides. And Hamza Tahir, the slow left arm orthodox 16. For Scotland in this game, especially on this wicket. Playing away from the body. Absolutely. Would want to. Leave an impact in this game. Early days for him as well. Second game at the Dubai International Stadium. So you really have to middle the ball for it Catch to it. travel. Catches the call, will be taken. And there you go, Dickinson. Has Track in this game. Dickinson strikes for the first time in his first over. It's a bit slow in the air. Inviting the batter on the front foot. The ball Sir. stopping and coming on the blade of half of the side of UAE. Back in the hut. Basil Hamid managing just eight. The bowlers of Scotland. And also the captain, Matthew Cross. Down. Yeah, come across then, Brando. A forced change oh, as Richie Barrington has had a niggle and is not a part of the playing 11. Yeah, Scotland have done really well. Or oh, goes for the big shot. That's up in the air. But away from the fielders. Doesn't have the legs to go all the way to the boundary. Just plucked into the ground, but they'll pick up two more runs. Left two in the order. Well, main to continue. That's a good shot in the gap. That'll run away towards the boundary. That's a vision, Ahmed. I think. Uh, well, that's up in the air. Chance. 
or just falls off short of the field and they'll run away towards the boundary. I think that was uh, the right approach. Ayan Abzal, be careful. He's a busy cricketer. That's up in the air, but away from the fielder at covers. They will pick up a couple of runs. Good running between the wickets. Alishan Sharfu is and looking for his first wicket of the evening. Alishan on strike. Well, that's played really well in the gap. They'll run away towards the boundary. That's a fabulous shot from Alishan Sharfu. From the other end. And they need those boundaries. That's it! Yeah! Well, well that, that he's move. been caught. Alishan Sharfu was the wicket they were looking for. Trying to up the ante. Trying to go for that shot over point. Manages to play it straight into the hands of the fielder. That's a big wicket in the context of the game. UA. Alishan gone after scoring a good knock, 35 of 32. Four boundaries in that innings. Michael Leesk with the brilliant bowling change for Matthew Cross. That's a good shot. A wayward delivery. It's been played towards my leg. Hamza Tahir with the chase. But I think the ball wins the race at the end. Late finals. The pedigree is definitely there. He has the skills. He has the ability. A big dive put in. Good piece of fielding. They need to find at least 12 or 14 runs in this over. No way near the ball. Running hard for the first run. And yes and no. And a wicket going down. A hero moment for these two young lads has been converted into a silly run out. I didn't think there was never that second run. Yes and no. And you're always in trouble. Wicket number six going down for UAE. Zoeb Zubair managing 13. Self of all those days. And go for the big one. He connects. But does he connect well enough? Oh, lucky him. Again, a pull shot on a short delivery. Should be a simple catch. And Matt. International Cricket Stadium. Back of length. A nicely bowled. Surprising Ayan Afzal Khan wanted to pull top edge. Look at that back peddling. No communication between all the players. Not only in UA players, but all sixes. Oh, he says, I can hit them too. And he tries to hit them. One bounce into the fence. Four runs. There's little glimmer. Slow one. And Akif has gone aerial. Has he got enough? Yes, he has a maximum. Right. Ball number two of the over. Where does Lukman hit? He's gone big. Didn't really connect it well. Square leg will come into play. They're going for the second. Yeah! And looks like Lukman has run himself out. There was a yes, there was a no. Bounce straight into the hands of wicket keeper. Basics are not right. <laughs> you need to drag your bat. Different angle. You're absolutely that. Basics gone missing. Lukman will have to take that long walk back on 7 of 5. Yeah. Slower one. Akif misses it. And this is curtains. It's easy. But the Scottish bowlers were really brilliant. As far as their lines are concerned, their lengths are concerned, their field placements concerned. Always stressful for the players and for the commentators as well. All right, so UAE chasing 121. Never looked comfortable with Vaseem and Tanish right up at the top. Again, couldn't stay long. Look at the number of runouts there. That was one of the concerns of UAE batting. Scottish bowlers were absolutely on the money. We've said that time and again.